Hey guys, so I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while now and I've just been kind of bypassing it and skipping it and I promise I really, <coughs> excuse me, I want to go through like different parts of my collection or favorite things like my favorite bronzers, highlighters, lipsticks and so forth. So to start it off, I am going to do my top five nude lipsticks at this moment because it constantly changes but yeah I want to share that with you guys and it is a mixture of high-end and drugstore so I'm gonna go ahead and get started now picking my favorite nude lipstick I'm not even gonna lie is probably one of the most difficult things I could ever do nudes is something that I use consistently I'm using a nude lipstick now it is just something that is really go-to. Um, it is not a lipstick I don't have or I have enough of because I'm constantly buying new nudes. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with my most expensive brand of nude lipsticks and that is from YSL. This is in the color Ultimate Beige or Beige Ultimate. Um, it's from the Rouge Volumpt line, and this is the color here. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you. That is what it looks like here. It is actually a deep nude for me. Um, so it's something that I would use definitely every day. Now, YSL lipsticks are not affordable. This is like $34, but if you ever ever try a YSL lipstick I promise you you will know why it's so expensive creamy it feels good on the lips it is just awesome and I love it so that is um, beige ultimate from YSL the next lipstick is one that I've mentioned many many times I've done tutorials using this particular lipstick it is one of my all-time favorites from Mac and this is probably my fifth tube of this and th this is max high tea now you're probably not going to be able to see it but this is a luster it has a little gold micro shimmer in there so it's not like it's gonna feel that shimmer gritty on your lips it is what I have on today and this is a lipstick that I can use every single day and I've been using this for many many years that's the color here it is a great nude it has an awesome gloss to it which I love again it does have super micro shimmer but they lend more for a metallic um, more than shimmer it doesn't feel gritty it has a nice soft gloss um, feel to it it just feels really really awesome on the lips and I love it again this is high tea from Mac and this is like my fourth or fifth tube of this stuff um, I go through it a lot because it is my everyday nude lipstick the next lipstick I have or the next three lipsticks I have in my top five are all drugstore so if you are a drugstore lover then this is definitely great if I didn't mention this in my top five nude lipsticks you would be slapping me silly and would think that I was sick because this is definitely one of my all-time favorite drugstore nude lipsticks and it is Milani's nude cream I first tried this color last year when it was rolled out and I have been in love with this shade ever since it is a pink nude and I'll go ahead and swatch that for you right there it is a great shade pink nude so this is definitely one of those nudes that can be worn for lighter or deeper skin tones because it lends for a pinker shade it does not look too nude on you or wash you out at all I love it it's anywhere between four and six dollars definitely one of my favorites definitely one of my favorites if I didn't mention it again like I said you would think I was sick because I talk about it constantly I wear it all the time that and high tea definitely some awesome ones another one that I have been using for years and I couldn't decide which nude from Revlon's super lustrous line I wanted to choose and I went back to one of my old-time favorites it is the nude attitude which is from their matte collection this is a very matte lipstick um, it reminds me very much so of 
um, myth from, there we go. So you're not even going to be able to see it on my skin tone, but on my lips you can see it's right here. Um, this reminds me very much of myth from MAC, but for me it just wears really, really nicely on my lips and I love it. It's right there. Um, it if you've used myth before it's very drying for me so it is not something that I enjoy using with this I'll slap it on with a deeper lip color I mean um, a deeper lip liner and blend it out and it'll be perfect It's definitely one of my favorites again Revlon's um, nude attitude from the super lustrous line last but not least is one that I have I the three drugstore brands that I mentioned are definitely three of my favorite lippy drugstore brands when it comes to lipstick. Um, the last is from the NYX round lipstick line and it is called Cirque or Cirque. It's C-I-R-C-E and it is a, um, a nude toned um, color. That's what it looks like here. It does have, it's not matte, so it's, I would consider this like a cream tone, and that's what it looks like right there. Again, it may be a little difficult for you to see. There we go. This is a great tone for me to use all over. I top it with a nice, pretty, light pink gloss if I want to. Definitely one of my favorites, and I absolutely love it. Now, I wanted to do an honorable mention. I didn't make this my favorite because the formulation to me is too soft, um, which means that I probably will not be using it all that much during the summer because it is so soft. I feel like when I apply it on my lips, it's kind of already warping. But it is the... I got these um, Bite Beauty Dual Lipsticks and this is the one in lychee and musk and lychee is just this gorgeous nude shade and again you can see how it kind of warps like that um it, just from me using it but um nonetheless i do love it but i have to be very very careful with how i apply it because it is so soft but it is just an awesome nude shade which is right here it's one of my favorites it is just a beautiful pinky nude um, and bite beauty lipsticks feel so good and soft and moisturizing and I absolutely love them and I love this again honorable mention though just because I know as much as I love this it's texture is just so soft it's awesome but too soft to wear Using it is tricky, most definitely. But that is my top five nude lipsticks at this moment. I'm sure it's going to change again soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned um, for future videos because I hope to do my top five pinks, my top five purples, maybe, my top five reds, most definitely. And um, yeah, I love doing these kinds of videos. So stay tuned for those because it'll help me go and shop through my stash and pull out some items that I loved in the past and just haven't been looking at either. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you love these types of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys. Have a great one.